in. You must be our new student. Good morning, class. I hope everyone had a really terrific weekend and I hope everyone's excited for the luau we're gonna have later on today. Before we begin, I just wanted to introduce um, a new student that's joining us. Her family just recently moved here and I hope everyone in the class will join me in welcoming her. Go ahead, you can take a seat. Good afternoon. How's your first day going so far? It's going good. Good. Glad to hear it. Well, just so you know, um, if there's anything that you ever want to talk about at any point in time, definitely come on down and see me. I, I love meeting with my students. I'm going to be your school counselor as long as you're a student here with us. So I look forward to building a nice, great relationship with you and just helping you out and helping you progress um, each and every year here. So again, don't be a stranger. Come on down and see me if and when you need to. All right, thank you. You're very mm -hmm. welcome. Have a good day. Hey, babes. Hey, Dad. Welcome home. How was your first day of school? It was all right, I guess. Yeah? So, you sure? I mean, I made a new friend today, and my teacher and counselor are pretty nice. Well, it sounds like it's better than, uh, okay. I'm glad you liked them. All right. Now that we've got all the characters introduced, we'll make a small time skip. Please note, bullying is a constant thing that happens over time. You will begin to see the mood changes as well as the many side effects to bullying that the victim experiences. These are all real but hypothetical situations based on what could occur. Viewer discretion advised. Hey, Dad, do you think I could skip school today? Skip school? Why? You having one of your headaches again? You've been having a lot of those. Maybe I should make a doctor's appointment or something. Uh, don't worry about it. It's just, it's just stress, all right? I'll go to school. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can you get my garbage, my my pencil out of the garbage? Yeah, just help him. It's like we don't we can't find it. There's so much. Go ahead. Just get his pencil. Oh. Let's get out of here, gang. Hey. I thought it smelled like trash. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Here begins the root endings that you can use, and I encourage you to use if bullying does occur. There is always help, and never, ever be afraid to ask. Root one, the parent. Could you stop playing? Do you know how annoying that is? Jeez, babes. Wait, did you have a bad day at school today? You know, if you're having a bad time at school, you know, I might be your dad, but you know, you could tell me anything. I know. I'm sorry. I just, I just didn't want to bother you. So, you know, tell me, what's going on that's got you up in such an uproar? Well, I'm, I'm being bullied at school, and you know, I just thought it was because I wasn't normal and I deserved it. And I didn't want to tell anyone and I should have, but. Listen, babes, anything you tell me, it's always important. And nobody deserves to get bullied. And I need you to tell me this stuff and you should have told me sooner. I know, and I really am sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about, but like I said, you could always come to me and tell me anything. And how about if I call the school tomorrow morning and I do it anonymously and I tell them what's going on so this can get fixed, okay? How about that? All right, and next time I promise I'll tell you. Good. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Route two, the teacher. Can I come in? Of course. Is, is something up? Um, yeah, actually. I know I should have said something sooner, but I kind of felt lame for saying something. What's going on? Well, you see, I'm, I'm being bullied. And, you know, I kind of feel weird about it. Well, first of all, I'm really glad you said something to me. You know, it's, it's my job as a teacher to help you if you feel that you're being harassed or bullied in any way. What's been going on? Well, I mean, it's kind of a continuous thing and I know I should have said something sooner, but I guess I was just really scared to come out about it. And uh, it's just like, and it's happening in class and stuff. And I know it's kind of affecting my overall class. Yeah, I've noticed your grades, you know, have been dropping and you haven't been turning in assignments and haven't really been interacting with the other students in class. Do you feel better now that you came and talked to me and ad admitted that there's a, an issue going on? Yeah, definitely. So what I kind of want to know is what I can do to make the classroom a safer place for you and also what do you want to do from, from here? You've confided in me. I could go with you to guidance if you'd like to talk to your guidance counselor. Um, I could go with you to administration if you feel it's serious enough to get them involved with the situation. I could speak to the students who are harassing you. Really, you and I are going to work together to figure out what the best course of action is to make it so that school is a safe place for you. All right, I feel much better now. Thank you. Good. I'm, I'm glad you talked to me about this. I, you know, if anything like this ever happens again, please don't hesitate. I know it's difficult, but the sooner you say something, the sooner you confide in a teacher, the better it'll be. All right, thank you. You're welcome. And I'll be in touch with you. Okay. Route three, the counselor. Oh, just the person I need to see. Can I see you in my office for a minute? Oh, sure, okay. Yeah. Just be a minute. Morning. How are you doing? Okay, I guess. Hmm, doesn't seem too convincing. So how are you really doing? I mean, I've been checking your grades and they're dropping quite a bit. And um, I did reach out to your teachers just to see how you were doing, and they mentioned that your attention seems to be elsewhere. Yeah. Well, 
I'm never going to force you to talk about anything that you're not ready to. I, I don't do that. That's not my practice. But I do want to let you know that if there's anything that you're wanting to talk about, whether it's good, bad, anywhere in the middle, I'm here for you. You can always come and talk to me about anything. Well, I, I guess I'm not really okay. But you promise anything that I say here can be kept anonymous? Of course, as long as you want it to. Well, I'm kind of being bullied, and I've kind of been dealing with, dealing with it this whole time. And this has been going on since the beginning of the school year? Yeah. I, I would have come sooner. That's just, I, you know, I didn't think that you would understand, or anyone for that matter, and I guess I kind of felt weak and stupid for saying something. Well, I'm really sorry that you felt that way. You know, standing up for yourself is not a sign of weakness whatsoever. Unfortunately, we work in an environment where bullying can sometimes happen, but it's my job and my responsibility to make sure that you are safe, and I pride myself on doing that. You sharing your information story with me isn't a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength, because you didn't have to share anything with me. Also, by you talking to me about what's happening with you helps me to better understand why these things are happening, helps me to put a plan um, in place for you, a plan of action that we can kind of execute together. And it also helps me to better help students in the near future who may encounter a similar situation like yours. Yeah, that does make sense. Mm -hmm. I didn't think of that. Yeah. And though we will try very hard to eliminate the problem, if something like this happens again... I'll come to you straight away, I promise. Good, good. What I like to hear. And just so you know, if you ever want to report um, bullying, whether you're being victimized or a peer, another classmate is being victimized, you can always jump onto our website and file an anonymous report. Like I said, it's completely anonymous. The report comes to myself and administration and we investigate the situation right away. Oh, I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So again, if you're wanting to talk about anything in the near future, please come on down and meet with me. I love meeting with my students. Um, if you're not feeling comfortable and you feel a little more comfortable filing something anonymously, please feel free to jump onto our website and do so. And I'm hoping that I will see a lot more of you. <laughs> you definitely will. Good. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Have a good day. Route 4. The Friend. Oh my god, are you okay? No, not really. Was it them? Yeah. Who else? I should have noticed the sign sooner. I feel like an awful friend. Don't worry, it wasn't your fault. If anything, it was theirs. And I didn't tell you. How long has this been going on? Um, since the first day of school. That's when you should have went for help. I could have helped you. Anyone could have helped you. Yeah, I know it was stupid, but I just... I just tried to ignore it, and I didn't think it was going to be a problem, and then it just, you know, it got more constant, and it just kept happening, and I didn't know how to deal with it. Well, I thought you were mad at me for something. Of course not. I could never be mad at you. You're my first friend. Well, good, because you're stuck with me. <laughs> but please tell me if this ever happens again. I want to be there for you. I will, I promise. Okay, good. And, you know, if I'm not there or I can't help you, then you can always go to an adult or a teacher or a parent or administrator or anyone because we need to prevent this from happening to anyone else. True. I just, I want to be there for you every step of the way because you're my best friend. You know, you're a true best friend. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> That now concludes A Hope to Cope. I hope you all enjoyed the short film and got something from it. Bullying is by no means a joke, and it isn't to be taken lightly. You have many resources, so please use them. I know that it's hard, but promise it gets easier. 
and the results are rewarding. However, if your situation is serious and the options aren't readily available at the time, please call the following numbers. Now, let's brighten the mood with some bloopers. I hope you do bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> this is going on Michaela's bloopers. The smoke we messed up. Here we go. <laughs> people it was mine i okay. want them to feel the awkwardness through the screen do you feel it <laughs> probably okay all right i wasn't in problem okay wait i have to cut this in case i'm just going off on the tangent <laughs> it's okay <laughs> cut 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 <laughs> okay here keep it rolling we'll just like run it back if it's all right with you it was recorded oh my god <laughs> I said I was fired. I said you were fired. I thought you were. I think this is a little. Yeah. I think you should come out like right after me. Because I only that was have. so funny. <laughs> Action. Forgot my line. Action. Smell like trash. <laughs> you gotta wait longer. Oh, no, wow. hey, hey. that was like perfect. No, he has to. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys both suck. <laughs> <laughs> no. That makes it look authentic. No, it doesn't. That's not authentic. First day. It was alright, I guess. Just alright, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's not the right way. Yeah. 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 Dad, do you think I could uh, skip school today? Skip school? Why would you want to skip school? Um, <laughs> I forgot to ask about the headache. Oh, yeah. alright. <laughs> Cut! Cut! Stop. Stop. Alright, are you ready? Wagner and Wagner, take two. <laughs> I need a card, okay. Stop. Alright, that was good. I feel like that was good. Yes. 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 